Well guys, welcome to a new thing on this channel. POV photography is something that we're doing more of this year. I'm primarily a photographer in my spare time and YouTube videos is something else I love to do, but photography is equally a passion of mine. So we're going to be doing this. It's something fun. It seems to be popular on YouTube at the moment. A lot of people doing POV photography videos. So this is my version of that. Enjoy. Just having half an hour this morning with the uh, 50 millimeter on the R6, just practicing with this lens really. Taking some photos of the buildings and stuff. It's a beautiful little town, so scenic and so picturesque. So I shouldn't have any problems getting some nice photos. And I'll put them in the vlog as we go along. Good thing about using the GoPro is that the audio is quite good because it's quite close to my mouth. So you'll be able to hear me talking quite well, which is good. I'm gonna have a walk down to the river before the light totally comes up and then we'll come back into the town after. This nice down here, look. And get one of the bridge, move your back a bit. Still getting used to using this uh, 50 millimeter. It's Like walking across the bridge, look. Morning. Morning, mate, Rose. ISO up a little bit too high. I like to underexpose. Um, if anything, I can always bring it back up in in post. So that's what I try and tend to do. I like to keep the ISO as low as possible, even though it probably could. I mean, it's, the meter is saying it should be on about two, 300 at the moment because of the light, but I like to underexpose, underexpose just a little bit. See the focus breathing on the M50, on the uh, 50 millimeter. When you don't get it just right. When you don't get the exposure right, it just hunts about a little bit. If I bring it up, it doesn't have so much of a problem. We're just walking around today anyway, I'm like not, I'm just practicing really because uh, it's all a learning curve, I'm still relatively new to photography and uh, careful don't slip over here because obviously this is a, f a picture I do like to try and get. Hello dude. It's a weird noise. Bring the exposure down a bit, quite a lot actually, on this bit. Try and get as less sky, if you know what I mean. I'm trying to get less sky than I am. Uh, the details, wow, it's quite icy down here. Good thing about this is that we've got the bridge to take photos of <laughs> when we uh, run out of ideas. It's beautiful out here today. Wah, 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 wah. Let's try and take some photos of the ducks. Ducks! Ducks! Don't fly off. Don't fly off. I don't want you to fly. Oh, scared the ducks off. Ah, oh, they're... They're actually geese. The geese are actually flying down, so I'm trying to get some photos of... You got, look at the wildlife we've got this morning. We've got 
swans, we've got loads of little ducks in the foreground and we've got geese in the far, in the far ground, if that's a word. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> this little photo of the houses is, is pretty cool, man. Let's bring it down. Try and get low as possible. Try and get the houses in the focus. I feel like the ducks are following me down the river because I think I'm going to feed them. But we've got that over the other side as well. Beautiful. Look at these beautiful houses and stuff. All right, let's bust out the long lens just with. I've got the 70 to 200. We're just shooting down there. I don't know why I'm on such a high ISO. It's still quite dark, but this car, which is card me by the way, because he's just sort of parked there. Can you see him? This headlight's pointing towards me, which is a bit annoying. But um, I'm on 200 millimeters. Down here, if you can see me. Just taking loads of photos today. Not really worrying about the card. I've got plenty of space when it comes to photography. It's when video is when you start using all the cards. I might walk across the bridge now and see if I can get some photos from back over that side. So uh, let's walk over there and see what we can see. We're just getting a little bit of light in the distance. So I'm trying to get some photos down there and that sky will really pop out when we get into Lightroom later. Look at that, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Got some birds flying around in the distance as well. We'll try and get some sort of uh, landscape and portrait mode. See the other side is not so beautiful with the sort of greyiness but i love shooting into the the sun when you've got that beautiful sky down there so we're going to try and take some photos of this while the sky is just popping i've dropped the aperture down to about 5.6 so i've got this bad habit in photography of shooting everything wide open I'm going to try and sort that out over the next <laughs> few months or so and just remember to drop down the aperture. So we're going to try in a minute and try and get in the middle of the road and sort of on the top of the crest of the bridge and take a photo. So the pigeons flying above me, I'm going to get crapped on. So we're going to let's get the explosion and everything right first. And my F4, one over 50th. No cars come in. We've got a bloke walking right in the middle of the road. Bikers are out. What I'm trying to do is get back at 70 mil and um, try and get a photo of the buildings over there with the moon. But the clouds are coming over, which isn't ideal. See the moon up there now. God damn you. Quite a decent one with a church in the foreground. Some car movement, which we don't want. A nice ugly truck there as well. I want a bit of the ice cream shop. That's what I want. Oh, it's a bit fresh this morning. Get the ice cream shop in as well as the rest of the 
shops. A bit wider maybe. Just like there. Oh, it's starting to rain. Great. That's good. Okay, not bad. That. Tesco's there used to be a wicked pub. I used to come there when I was a kid. <laughs> Start to sound old now, and I do that. Cut them off. That's my ugly car in the photo. That's not good, is it? Okay, we're going to call it a day. Watching guys, it was a relatively successful trip out. The the actual weather itself wasn't brilliant. The light in the sky was okay, but I need to get out a little bit earlier, maybe next time, or we'll do some sunset ones next time. The big I've got lots of ideas for this from um, night photography to when I can travel again, going to different places around the UK to do this. So if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe and press the bell so you don't miss those future uploads. In the meantime, this channel is usually tech based and we've got so many videos coming up. I'm actually swamped with the amount of tech that I've got to review and test. So again, subscribe so you don't miss those. There's lots of exciting stuff coming up. So uh, thanks for watching. Until next time, take it easy. See you soon, guys. Bye.